how is everyone finding their like employers how are you finding the kickstart scheme like are you finding it interesting are your bosses supportive uh, a sweetie bag was sent to me from my company for employee appreciation day Oh, that's oh. Really, that really made me happy. It had like a little label on it, like saying that we appreciate you and stuff. And that's she got it really delivered to my house. Can, can, I, can I say, uh, once every two weeks, we say to your bosses to come on a call and we, we, we kind of like tell them stuff like that. Can I put a lot of pressure on you guys to say, could you go on the bosses call? They have a little moan about you lot. And then we say to them, you need to step up. You need to meet your, your, your employees. You need to treat them well. And quite a few, like Hannah, how many bosses came to the last bosses call? Um, 12, <laughs> maybe. That's Honestly, I, If you tell your bosses, look, go on the bosses call. They will get a lot out of it too. They can network amongst the other bosses. And we literally tell them, if you expect your Kickstarter to do good stuff, you need to be a better boss. And, and, that, and, and that's the kind of is, stuff. Especially when you are working from home, you don't speak to anyone all day, you don't see anybody. So it's nice to even get a text message saying, like, I hope yeah. the day goes well. So and, and, and a lot of people don't know how to be a boss. Like, your parents had no clue how to be a parent or, or were very unsure of it. There wasn't really a manual for that. Or they, you could get books on it. It's a kind of experience thing. And um, about 20 years ago, my very first, one of my first employees at the interview, right at the end, she was doing really well. And then right at the end, she said to me, um, look, Gary, I, I said, have you got any questions? She said, yeah. Uh, she, ta she asked me a question and she said, look, just one thing, never let me drink more than two, two never let me have more than two drinks, alcoholic. And I thought inside me, oh, you're fun. You like getting pissed. Like, that's a really, like, I actually thought it was all right. But you know uh, what I didn't know? That was her um, crying out for help, that she was an alcoholic. And uh, a couple of weeks later, we went out for a staff gig. And me and my, the, my colleague that were, like, interviewed her said, what do you reckon will happen if we give her more than two? Anyway, point is, is that she was so slaughtered. And then we found out she had an alcohol problem. And I didn't know how to handle that as a new boss. There's a lot of things that they don't know what to do with you lot when you phone in sick. I know what to do. I'll make you accountable. So say Thomas phoned in sick on Monday. I'll say, Thomas, what's up? How comes you phoned in sick? And you'll say, Look, make this real. Um, uh, you know, I've been on the toilet for the last hour. Oh, um, it's not I'm looking so good, boss. Sorry. What do you reckon you at? I think it was the kebab boss. I'm not going to yeah, lie. Yeah, I got that. I got that. Uh, can I have the telephone number to the kebab shop just to make sure that they're they're not gonna they're not gonna make other people food poison? Is that all right? I mean, absolutely. If you could give them a talking yeah, to, that would be I'll great. I'll deal with that for you, Thomas. I hope you feel better tomorrow. You know, drink loads of water. Uh, I'm gonna take this day out of your holiday rather than dock you. Oh, thank you very much, You're boss. I'll make sure that I'm back on it tomorrow. Right, so we have that conversation. If if Thomas is being real, he's cool. If he's not, he'll be like, fuck, phoning in sick again. Now, a lot of your bosses have no clue of how to deal with that. They just don't know. And then you think, ah, oh, that was an e I'm going to phone in sick again on Monday. And and you really, you're doing yourself an injustice. Do you, Thomas, I know you, you, you talk... You talk sense a lot. Do you think that's a fair thing? If you've never employed someone, you wouldn't know how to handle somebody remotely, somebody younger. No, I'd and agree with that. I mean, even me in my last job, there were I was working in a bar and there were times where I'd like, I could just take the sick day. It's 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 an hourly job. I'm not getting paid if I don't do it. But not, not but just, you gotta you gotta make sure that you're putting in the effort. Otherwise, especially in like this especially in the jobs we're in now, like this is where our progression starts. It's not a bar job. You're not going to be stuck pulling no. for the next 10 years. Like, we got to push forward here. And not just that, yeah, knowing how to treat people. you right. They don't know how to treat you right. They're a bit unsure. So by all the bosses coming together, they they start to, oh, it would be a good idea to send my staff something nice or to communicate with them all day. Sorry, Sarah, what are you going to say? 
I said, uh, following on from, is it Tom? It's about holding yourself accountable now in this like role that whatever you're doing with whatever company, it falls on you to kind of be like, okay, today, this is like what I'm going to do. Like you've got to be proactive about it. You can't be passive because unfortunately you're just going to set yourself up to fail. So you either choose to take this opportunity and do some good with it, or you're wasting six months of your life that you won't get back. And then you're going to be back at square one after six months. What do we want that? No. Sarah, tell me how this makes you feel. If you believe that Sarah is a very good speaker, can you show her some love? Oh, thanks. Look at this. Watch this. <laughs> oh, it's really sweet. At school, they said, I'll never get a job talking. I love talking. Sarah, you're good at talking. I could see you being a journalist or I could see somebody coming out of the Oscars and you interviewing them. I can oh, see you. that. Like, do it. Like, this job can create that for you. Like, all you're really good at talking. So, pod podcasts make sense. YouTube yeah. videos. It's really interesting because when I started this, I was really nervous about the calls. I was actually really nervous about the whole thing. So, I have really bad anxiety and I freak out about having to deal with my other peers or like sociable things terrify me. But like I'm using this opportunity to push myself out of my comfort zone. And that's what it's all about. Because you don't grow unless you don't try. I that's what I've learned. Sarah. I love that. So like, I, I, get, I could talk to you lot all day about this stuff. But I am going to actually do some work. This is still work. But we're going to do uh, some Facebook reels. So here we go. I on, um, on Zoom, I click share screen. Then I press advanced. And on advanced... Um, it does say I can share my iPhone screen. So if you guys are, if you guys want to do something that you can only see on the iPhone for your clients, that's the way to do it. And then you can recruit, record the screen on OBS. So I'm using software called OBS. I'm using Zoom, and then I'm saying share my screen with my iPhone. Uh, I'm mirror, and now I'm mirroring. Now I'm mirroring what. So you guys can see exactly what I see. We can't yet. Oh, here we go. Is it going to work? <laughs> it has to be on the same Wi-Fi. There we go. It has to be on the same Wi-Fi as what you've got. So Facebook, here we go. So you can do, at the moment, you can do a reel on your own personal page and a group. So you think, well... I don't want to do a personal thing for my boss. So what the thing to do there is to make up a fake account and then do a reel on the fake account and then share that into the page because it's not available in pages yet. Who's my man who's making me accountable? My memory's a bit shit. Who, who, who's my person making me accountable? Sarah, who's you have me? to be it because my person accountable isn't around. Wait, where is he gone? Is that me? Yeah, you and Sarah. I, am I making sense? Do you know what the difference between a page, a group, and your personal is? Because I know Facebook isn't cool anymore for you youngsters. Does that make Facebook's sense? Facebook's my main social media, so I know how to use it. Right. Sarah? Yeah. yeah, I get it. All right, brilliant. So, to make, to make the reel, these are the reels that are already happening. And you, what you can see, it's not that good. When we're, when we're going to the reels of Instagram or, or, or TikTok, it's millions. On here, I'm seeing thousands. So there's, Facebook's got a real problem that people are not creating content on here. So when you guys make the content, you're going to be able to do really, really well for your client. Um, because it will get organic traffic. Christian, do we know what organic tra traffic is? Sarah? It's where people find stuff like manually rather than just being pushed into finding it. Well, uh, with fa with all social media, you can either pay or see it naturally. Organic it's without traffic sponsored means... ads and stuff. Sorry. Without like sponsored ads and things like That's that. That's it. Uh, if you're really good at your job, you hardly have to pay at all. So having that organic traffic is a really good thing. And whenever there's a whenever there's a new product. <laughs> they like to push it so we can get extra organic traffic. So you can make your reel from there, the top, or you can make your reel from create. So, so far, so easy, right? You, you Even though it's really dumb, they put the audio at the top. If you pick your audio now, 
and then make your reel, it actually it actually deletes it. So say I'm gonna pick I'm gonna pick mission as possible, but when I make my reel, it basically put your audio on last instead of first. It will be seen. Um, I like to make and please challenge me on this. I like to make reels. Uh, with seven or eight different little slides with a bit of storytelling to it. So uh, I'm gonna, I don't know, this is me, me and me, my co-presenter. Okay, what does it mean to be an entrepreneur? Me, my co-presenter. Okay, what does it mean to be an entrepreneur? Me, my co-presenter. Okay, but down what does it mean to be an entrepreneur? Ad, ad. So I've started with a video. I've started with a video, and then I'm gonna look. Can you see down the bottom left-hand corner? Uh, it's got like a. I can choose. Oh my God, I can't even point. Oh, there you go. Down there, there. Can you see that there? So I'm gonna go there, and I'm gonna pick a picture. What does it mean to be an entrepreneur? So uh, we could do. I don't know. I'll pick Rocky. <laughs> My co-presenter. Okay, what can change the size of it? How long it goes on? My co-presenter. Exactly the same as Instagram. Exactly the same as TikTok. You can make it as long or as short as you want. So I add another one. I'll add the pic, another picture, or, or add a video. Whatever the hell I want to do. Mm, what shall I pick? So I can I can edit that, I can make it as long or as short as I want. I press done. Uh, edit. You got it? Look, the sound's gone. Dumb. So I have to go, so basically go back. When you've finished all of this, you go back, edit. And then I'm back on what I want to do and how, if I, if I want to write on the screen, I can do a green screen. Uh, no. I flip the camera. So I'm here in San Diego. <laughs> you really should, you really should my to have, Okay. What? You need to have fun with this, right? Making a fake account today. Um, making a fake account today is really important that you don't screw things up for your client. It doesn't take long to make a fake account. Have have a, have a play with it. Like add video, add um, add um, images, add text, tag people into it. Use some of the features. And that the coolest thing about this is that everyone is on day one. This has only been available for a day or two at the most. And you're at exactly the same spot as everyone else. I remember when um, there was a thing called Vine. You know, I remember Vine on, tic, uh, on Twitter. Like I was banging on Twine the, one of the first days, same as LinkedIn. Whenever a new platform comes on, I go in there and I play around and I'm not scared of making a mistake. Like You guys shouldn't be afraid of making a mistake. Make a fake account, play around with it, look at its features and then make one for your boss. Now, uh, Sarah or Christian, which do you need any more help with this? You are the sense check for the rest of the room. I picked that up pretty well, to be honest. So it's, did I. It's a piece of cake. It's a piece of piss. You lot, you two, the whole room, the whole 50 of you lot, should be teaching me tomorrow. It literally is not difficult at all. There's nothing there difficult. The great thing about our, our work is that we, um, if we're not sure how to do it, we could watch a YouTube video. At this point, there is no YouTube video teaching people how to use Facebook Reels. I've just made one. So in a little while, in about an hour's time, I'm gonna put this up and it will optimize, it'll be the top of Google. That That's exciting for me, because when you get in there first, you become the expert. 
Have we got any last minute questions before we wrap up today's training? All right, so I can I see by a show of love who has done the Google My Business course? Who's done it? Has anyone done it? Jeez. Hannah, can you believe that? <laughs> I actually can because we missed last month. <laughs> Oh. So there's this thing called Google My Business. And in Google My Business, it's not actually called that anymore. It's called um, uh, Google Business Profile. And when you learn it, it's magical for businesses because it's how you get Google reviews. It's how you advertise. It's how you, get a free, how you get up on the rankings. And every month I teach it. And it takes a couple of days to learn to go through it because there's a lot. I will be doing the Google My Business course on Wednesday and Thursday. Tomorrow, we will jump in to that uh, to Tuesday. If you're here at half past 10, it means you're week one or two, or you're repeating week one or two. If you're here at 11, it's because you want to learn something new or you have a question. And then Wednesday, Thursday will be Google My Business Days. Friday will be a guest speaker. Yes, we've got a question. Um, it's just in regards, obviously, because now it's uh, I'm on week three. When you go to the Kickstarter training, the academy bit, it's only it only gives you the first ten days. So what happens now? Yeah, I think I think we should open up LinkedIn for you. We should Ooh. like we what there's a there's something deliberate about us not opening it up when you're in week one or two. We don't want you to freak out. <laughs> like, we'll open it all up for you. It, it, Hannah's got a lot to do today, so maybe remind her tomorrow. You're gonna okay. No, yeah, I, it's only I, I, I'm in no rush really. I was just only because I see the ten days. So, Alex, you must have done the Google My Business course. Bloody hell! Yeah, I did it a while ago. Yeah. Like, do you want to tell the guys what it's like and, and how useful it is? I mean, like, Google My Business is just sort of like it's one of the necessities for your client, really. So, uh, if you're not, if you haven't done it, then I would definitely go along to on Wednesday and Thursday. Um, and even if you have done it, it wouldn't hurt to sort of just get a refresh on it, basically, and just make sure you didn't miss out on anything the first time around. One of my best friends, uh, he, he's just opened an opticians with his wife, and he had no clue how to get Google reviews when his competition had got loads. I, I just showed him a few little bits and pieces. He got ripped off because somebody charged him £70 for a QR code, a live QR code, like he paid 70 quid. I'm going to show you tomorrow uh, on Wednesday, Thursday, how to make a live QR code to the to your review. And it won't be boring, I promise you. It's going to be really, really, really good. When you go for an interview and you say you know how to use Instagram and TikTok and Facebook, they're not that impressed. But when you say, I can get your web page to page one, they're, they're like, because the skill of SEO isn't really tall and you have to pay thousands of pounds to learn it. I'm going to teach you this for free. I'm going to help you to get your boss's page to number one. So I'll stop there. If you're week one or two, if you're week one, well, welcome. Uh, you've got a family of 50 people here. We all want to come to your wedding. Uh, you make a new, new, fr a new friendship circle. If you're week two, you're just starting to get into it. Anything else... Um, just, I love you. You know I do. That's that's all I got to say about that. Um, are we good? Are we finished for the day? If you've got any questions, stick around. Otherwise, have a lovely Monday. That's it. I might. I should really play some Justin Timberlake as you lot leave for Ollie. <laughs> um.